Treat people the way you like to be treated. The best of virtues is being good-tempered. Whoever serves Allah sincerely, Allah will make all the universe serve him. The one who doesn't give thanks for his blessings, is a worthless person. Allah has made the month of Ramadan like a competition for his servants, to compete for his satisfaction with each other through obeying him. Treat your neighbor kindly to be worthy of being a Muslim. I advise you to think and contemplate, since they enliven an insightful person's heart and are the key to wisdom. Consulting in groups, leads you toward success. A true friend is always on your side, whether in hardships or comforts. Patience means restraining from anger, and having yourself under control. A servant of Allah, beware that Allah had not created you in vain, nor left you on your own. Instead, he had determined the years of your lives and has distributed your sustenance among you. This way, any wise person will realize his or her worth and that he or she won't get more than what has been determined for him or her. Strive for this life as if you will live forever, and make every effort for the life, that is to come as if you will die the next day. This world is the dwelling of pain and hardship, and whatever rests here is doomed to mortality. Allah had informed us of this world's workings to learn our lessons from it. He has warned us beforehand so that no excuse will remain at the end for us. Therefore, be pious in dealing with what is temporal, this world, and seek what is eternal, the afterlife. Verily, the lights of guidance in this Quran leads toward prosperity. This Quran heals hearts and souls. There is a thin line between what is right and wrong, what you see with your own eyes is the right thing, and what you hear or is told about might be wrong. Being grateful for the blessings, and being patient in hardships, are the virtues to which you can't find any negative side. Verily, people are slaves to this world and its wealth, and make their religion a means of reaching their, worldly, purposes, and do whatever it takes to build an ideal life. Therefore, when faced with a trial, few will adhere to their religions. Whoever knows Allah, will fall in love with Him. The blessings are unappreciated, as long as they are at hand, yet their worth will be appreciated as soon as they are lost. Meanness is considering what you own as the reason for your honor, and what you give away as waste. Poverty is the greed, that is not satisfied with anything. I advise you to piety and constant pondering, since thinking is the root of all virtues. When Allah blesses someone with the ability to supplicate to him, he surely gives his or her prayers the chance of being granted. Expressing your opinion on the subject, which is not related to you, puts an unnecessary burden on your shoulders. Being afraid of honesty and expressing the truth, is a sign of abasement. There are three things that bring destruction to people, pride, greed, and envy. The best chance for a benevolent person to forgive a guilty one, is when there is no way out for the latter. Whoever counts the number of his or her charities, ruins his or her spirit of generosity. The most insightful eyes are the ones that are fixed only on the goodness and virtues, and the most receptive ears are the ones who listen to advice and make use of them. At times, silence is a better companion, even if you are a perfect speaker. The calamities are the keys to blessings and rewards. Whoever seeks to worship Allah sincerely, should purify himself for this purpose. No wealth is more precious than wisdom. Treating people good-manneredly, is a crucial part of wisdom. 
teach your knowledge to others and learn what others know, this way, you will both improve your own knowledge and learn what you didn't know about. I wonder how you would think, about the food for your body, and don't contemplate on the food for your thought. You restrain from eating what is harmful to your body, but fill your mind and soul with what ruins them. Your real thoughts, will be revealed in your anger. I guarantee, that Allah will grant the prayers of the one, whose only purpose is Allah's satisfaction. Whoever trusts Allah's best intention, will only desire what Allah chooses for him. Giving alms tax, zakat, does not reduce your wealth, 